What is up, comic fans? I just having a hard time understanding what just happened. If you want to find out? Check this out. Shout out to the channel sponsors, Big Time Collectibles. Be sure to check them out at BigTimeCollectibles.com and follow them on their social medias as to not miss out on either exclusive drops. They sponsor the monthly Legion Loot giveaway for the channel members, so be sure to hit that join button down below and become a channel member today. And also, if you need anything cleaner press, hit up my friend Justin on Instagram. Let him know you found him via the channel and take advantage of the special deals that he runs for viewers of the channel. And lastly, a huge shout out to my local comic shop and local sponsor, the Augusta Book Exchange. And I'm not the only kid on the block that they're sponsoring. We got a special guest with us for today's video. Time to bring him in. What is going on, Becker? Hi, Mark. Hey, Becker. What's happening? I'm just trying to get over this huge, huge box that showed up at my house today. Yeah, so like that, that's what we're here today. Something happened on Rob Liefeld's Whatnot stream. It's a massive question. Whatnot is a hot topic word in the community. It's kind of a loaded word, as Hank Pym would say, but I couldn't unpack this all by myself. I needed somebody's help to make sense of what just happened. What, what, uh, 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 ah, ah. So for those that do not know, this is Mr. Beckerman. He has a fantastic presence and footprint in the comic community. He's been a lifelong comic fan almost. He's been collecting and reading comics unbroken for damn near three solid decades at this point. And on a little top of over. That, when he found this community, him and the community came together like butt cheeks. And he even joins my good friend Alan Rue over on the Comic Viking YouTube channel. You can check out what they're doing, little hangout conversation type videos they upload where they go over their hauls, their pickups, and what they're excited for. Every week in comics on Tuesday mornings, that video drops. It's called The Huckabuck. Alan and the Comic Viking also host the monthly comic book book club where they pick out a story, uh, give a good bit of advance so you have time to read it, normally an old trade or something like that. And then everyone sits down and has fun hanging out, talking about that story. That has been on hiatus this past month, so be on the lookout for the next announcement of what's coming next. So for those that don't also know, this is the jabroni that got me back into wrestling, and I thank you for that. It's so great. It is. So one I, thing I love it. One thing that's not great about Becker is he, me and him talk daily, and one thing he loves to do is call me about something that's exciting that he's very can't get over it. Can you believe this just happened? And he normally waits a solid twelve hours after it's over to have that conversation with me. Yeah, like what, the first Rob, the first two Rob Liefeld whatnots I went to and bought stuff on. I waited till the next day to tell Mark. But this time, I didn't wait. I got yeah, all of them right away. And, and why? And why? Do you want to say why it was that you felt the need to reach yeah. out to in the moment? Yeah, go I ahead. I want to give away. So he, he, he messaged me to rub it in my face. So needless to say, I hopped over there. And I jumped on, and we both have packages to open up. So I'm going to go and start opening this because it ain't like it's a big room. I'm going to get the books ready and primed to show you. But I am a big Rob Liefeld fan. For, for those that have been following the channel for a while, I did like the big questionnaire entry for Blasting and Stashin's contest they did. And one of the questions were Peach Momoko or Rob Liefeld. And I've got the new Mutants 98 over my shoulder. I grew up. Oh, this is packaged very well. Dude, there's like a... Pool, a pool float in here. Look at this. You get one of these? I, I'm not there yet. I left what my up? knife in the other room. I was born in the 80s. I grew up in the 90s. So I absolutely love Rob Liefeld for his strengths and his weaknesses. And as far as being someone who enjoys comic book history and hearing, like, he's he's one of the most interesting people out there especially from modern times, to uh, to learn about. So like Mike over there, a.k.a. Becker, said, he won a giveaway. So talking on whatnot, I'm pretty sure that most anybody watching this video knows what the whatnot platform is. But if you don't, it is a lot. Look at this packing job. Yeah, dude, mine was amazing. So what's not the way? What not the way? in there? that you can go on as a seller or a buyer. It has a live chat, and it's all live auction features. It's like YouTube, I mean, uh, eBay, but only live sales, only auctions. And you set the time limits. It's normally a fun hangout session kind of thing. 
And knowing that Rob Liefeld was doing something, I wanted to check it out and get some of that energy from him. Now, Becker messaged me just because he wanted to rub it in my face that he wanted to give away. And me and Becker have been talking about Liefeld ever since he released the Captain America Deadpool book with that chisel signature. That signature that you see at the bottom center of the screen here is a special remark that he's doing of his artist signature. And that's when me and Becker really started talking about Liefeld. Whew. That is awesome. So the yeah. other thing is, since we're talking about, like, you know, what not can be co controversial, Rob Liefeld is incredibly controversial. Just as the comic book can, yeah, the comic book community has been divided on this guy from day one. I personally like him. But I realize he's not everyone's cup, cup of tea. But the guy had, Mark said, energy. He keeps it, he keeps the mouth going. He keeps talking in these. This is not a boring whatnot. From opening gate to when it ends, you don't know if you're going to get weird impressions or um, him just banning people or, or, you know, comic Rob, Rob does these. If you want to see Comic Journey get banned from sales, check out. Rob Liefeld's whatnot. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to let CJ live that down. But that is a good point. Like his energy carries it. It's not a boring show. If this wasn't a famous seller, if this was just some any run of the mill seller, everyone would be over here on this guy's sale, anyways, just because of the entertainment value that he brings to it. Now, like I mentioned, it was, uh, it was. A Captain America Deadpool recent cover that he did that was just gorgeous. Even by like people who dislike Rob Liefeld, like even by their standards, they would say this is one of his better covers. At least in my opinion, they would. It seems kind of obvious. But I wanted I'd seen one of those and we got to talking, so he knew that I wanted to check out one of these sales. So he hit me in time. I went over there and I kid you not, I wasn't there five minutes before Rob ran his second giveaway and I won it. So at that point. Becker and myself had won 100% of this guy's giveaways up in that point. He did one more later in the show, which some random that nobody knows won, so he couldn't be here today to film with us. But we're here, and that's what matters. So uh, I'll, you want to save the giveaways for last and show them what we ended up picking up? Because yeah, wow, we both hung out the whole show. We were there till like, in my time, it was like 1.20 in the morning. And I only bought one book, and it was right after I won. I think I bought this book right before you showed up in there. And I still stayed the whole time. I didn't spend any money. I just hung out. And Mark and I are talking back and forth. You know, that's the one thing. I have I will absolutely defend Rob Liefeld for what he is. You know, he's he is a relevant member of comic book legends at this point you know what i mean Absolutely. the guy sold the guy has sold millions of books he he moves the needle he, he is relevant he has been relevant for over 30 years and i do want to throw this out there too because i know there's some other rob liefeld fans out there we're going to have a giveaway today for y'all that are watching this we're not going to advertise or spread it out if you made it into the video this long this giveaway is for you so stay tuned till the end to see what you can win and how to win it. It ain't going to be difficult to enter, but there is a little trick. You can't just simply put a comment and bail on us. So watch the video and you'll be uh, have a chance at a giveaway. So like we, he said, he stayed and bought a book. I actually bought three because I wanted one of these chiseled signatures really bad. And since you got one, Becker, I'm going to go ahead and go first. And Rob has the most recent book that he's done. He has he, He's the Marvel variant theme for the month. He has all these homage covers. So uh, I picked up his Fantastic Four issue number seven, Homager variant. So it's got Deadpool on the cover with the Fantastic Four, homaging the first appearance of Black Panther. And it has a signature, but he put the chisel signature right there on it. And I'm Ooh. so sorry that I don't have the black light, but this was done in fluorescent black light ink and pink. So as soon as I saw pink, I popped like it's gimmicky. It's Liefeld style. You know, it's, it's a gimmick cover. He made a gimmick cover with the chisel. I needed it. So uh, I think he did a bang up job drawing. The and for those who don't know what it is, will you explain what the chisel is? It's, it's his artist signature. So if you look on every book, it's printed. That's what's printed on it. 
but he and he's been doing repeat. that sig for 40 years. Yeah, so he's now doing signatures and he's remarking the chisel signature. It's putting his artist signature bigger on it, bolder, and it gives you the it's a remark, but of his artist signature. It's fantastic. Yeah. So I hung out there for a while and I'm gonna do one more. So that leaves us both with one in our giveaways. And uh like my I love cable. I love Deadpool. And uh, this book came up. And this was the only copy of this book that came up. It was out of his back stock. And as soon as I saw the cover, I'm like, dude, that's the one. Four different characters all created by Liefeld. Whoa. And uh, it's X-Force kill shot number one. And this one is actually a key, which he pointed out by everyone's loose definitions. It's the first X-Force Gwenom, Venom pool thing, kind of whatever. It's an incarnation of Venom in a certain suit. And it's X Force Kill Shot number one, and it's his exclusive. And he put that blue and white chisel on it. Yeah, blue and white. You got Major X, Cable, Deadpool, and Shatterstar. Like this couldn't be any more Liefeld if it tried, and it does try. But it's just and that it's beautiful, one. beautiful book. I'm jealous of this one. So that I had to get that cable. Like that was nab that one just for the cable, and the rest of it just sets it off as well. All right, Mike, show everybody which one you picked up and why'd you go so for this I, one? I have now previously I own the Cap Deadpool one and I also own the Secret Wars eight homage. <laughs> yep, with, <laughs> with Deadpool doing mad spirit fingers. <laughs> so I picked up the Fantastic Four that you picked up, only my chisel is red and white, not fluorescent. That looks good up against Ben Grimm as well. It does. And I, I like his Ben Grimm. Yeah, I'm excited to own this. I'm going to have to do some self-slabbing with yeah, all I these decided, homages. I am definitely want to get – I kind of just want to get a generic label made. For those that don't know, comicskin.com, you can get slab it yourself stuff. You can go back to my videos and see where I've reviewed the product and stuff. I actually love them, prefer them over just sending my books off to get graded and submitted for just little PC stuff. That would be perfect to get like a, just a generic lab where I can interchange the different uh, Liefeld chisel books. But Mike mentioned it and he said he already has the Captain America Deadpool one, the book that pretty much got me to this point in this video. And he was getting close to the end of the stream and he started asking people, Hey, if there's anybody out there that <laughs> wants anything specific, just let me know. I immediately said cap cap Deadpool chisel Mike jumped in there, said the same thing, and Rob being Rob just kept on ranting, doing Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonations, talking about his he son really, Joseph Banya. <laughs> he really likes Joseph saying the name Joseph Banya. Joseph Banya, and it was hilarious. But after a while, he, uh, I guess it was his assistant. What was it, David or something like that? Dave? Dave. Dave, Dave yep. who uh, put in the chat, are y'all looking for this book specifically? And we both said yes, and we uh, willed it into existence. Rob went out of the room. And Doug dug one up and came back and uh, he put it up. And I, I was, man, I was lucky enough to get it. The book that I wanted from Jump and I got it for a great price. But that's the one right there. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous. Now that is a damn good cap. And Let's Deadpool. see the internet make fun of that Captain America. Yeah, it'd be hard to, right? Even like, look at the proportions for these two. Like how, like the size difference, that's done right. Like that is amazing. I like that he makes Cap a monster, you know, like, He's like a be. government steroids experiment would actually look like. Exactly. And Deadpool's lighter and agile and stuff. I mean, the line work on it is fantastic. I love how he does chest. I just think it's, I, I love, like, what is it like the whole thing, the different perspectives and stuff, like how Kirby has, like, all that. I like Liefeld's version of that. His his artist tropes, I dig heavily. But you see it's signed, it's right there, and then you see the standard artist signature that's printed on the cover, blue and white chisel, perfectly balanced right by Captain America's head. Like, and you run your finger over these, and you, you can, can feel. feel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's very textured because he's using a heavy paint pen. Yeah. So I, it does raise up the, it almost feels like you could read it in Braille, you know? Yeah. So let's get into the giveaway aspect here. So this is what got us all here. We'll show you what we want and then we'll show you what you can win and tell you how to do it. So you want me to lead us off? Again, everything packed so beautifully. 
Uh, so both of us won toys. Yes. Mine is the Deadpool taco truck. And it has, let's, because was, it's, I think he did like a light green. Yeah, that's what I have on mine. Almost a yellow. Um, so you got a it's signature. It's not showing up the best. So you got a chisel, a signature, and in the middle, there's a Deadpool balloon remark. Fantastic. Oh, is this a, is cool. Is that a toy from Mattel? Well, let's see. It's Marvel Metal Diecast. JadaToysInc.com. Nice. Metal die, MetalsDieCast.com. Okay. That so, is pretty cool. And that's that's where he got excited. Like, you won't believe it. Today of all days, because Becker was having a winning-ass day, and it just kept on going into the night that day. And like I said, as soon as I got over there, I... I a giveaway start is the first time I ever won a whatnot giveaway, and uh, I won a Hot Wheels, a premium Hot Wheels metal diecast Deadpool scooter, also signed, chiseled, and remarked. And this is the tactical chimney delivery scooter, so you can see the signature with the remarked balloon. It has an awesome box art, and uh, that is a little metal scooter, and it says tactical chimney delivery on the side, chiseled right there on the front, and uh, yeah, it's from Mattel. I'm not sure what year this is from. I'm sure I can look and find out, but uh, who knows? Who cares? 2022. So that's fairly recent, but one that for Freeski signed the heck out of it. He was signing and remarking pops and doing all kinds of fantastic stuff, just giving stuff away left and right. He's a really generous, generous fellow, and he's hilarious. So Big excited to have gotten all that. And I want to share in some of the excitement with the people who watch the video. I know this is running long, but who cares? I do want to give away a copy of that Fantastic Four issue number seven, Homager. So if you don't have one or if you would like one, I mean, it features five different Marvel characters drawn in live film fashion. And you don't see them do the Fantastic Four very often. So here's your chance. Just leave a comment down below, but you have to leave the hashtag Liefeld in the comment. That's L-I-E-F-E-L-D, Liefeld. And uh, next, let's see, this will be posting next week. So we're recording. I got to look at a calendar. So this will post on the 24th. So I'm not going to leave it up long. It'll post on the 24th to everybody worldwide. And on the 28th, that night, during my live show at Weeks End, I'll do a comment picker on the video and see who wins. So you have to be watching at Weeks End to see if you won because I'm not tracking you down. Now, am I eligible for this? Absolutely. Everyone's eligible. Am I eligible? No. I'm just asking for I'm the only person not eligible. So yeah, appreciate everybody watching. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this haul. Let me know what you think of what not. Let me know what you think of Rob Liefeld. There's a lot to discuss off this video, a lot of controversial topics, but I'd definitely be interested to know which cover was your favorite. If it was the Captain America, the Cable. Oh, that's my vote. Four. That cable is my yeah, it's, it's hard for me to pick between these two. It really is. Really, and to be honest with They're, you, if I would have bought those first, I wouldn't have probably gone for this one. But that fluorescent got me while I was sitting there empty handed, just wanting. I need something. And the important thing to remember is if you don't like Rob Liefeld, he doesn't care and he'll happily block you if you show up. The man's got money and don't forget it. Be sure to hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, join the Legion. And until next time, as always, I'm Mark, but we are Legion.